Before we finally pray, do you know why you need peace? Peace is very important and cardinal for every progress and success. Peace is important for good health and healthy living. In the absence of peace, nothing thrives. You need peace of both body and mind to proficiently serve God. Faith works most effectively when peace is in place. That's why the Bible has consistently urged us to fear not. Fear and anxiousness are actually outward expressions of a lack of peace and rest in the innermost mind. And when peace and restfulness are absent, everything else tends to malfunction. Lack of peace and rest of mind is very harmful, both to the physical and spiritual being of a person. Therefore, if there is anything a man must strive to have, it is peace. Hence the Bible prioritizes peace as a very rewarding prize when it says in John 16 verse 33, These things I have spoken to you, that in me you may have peace. In the world you will have tribulation, but be of good cheer, I have overcome the world. This means that with inner peace, even tribulations do not really matter. Jesus said it again in John 14 verse 27. Peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you, not as the world gives do I give to you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid meaning that what we mostly need is his peace. Any person who trivializes, denigrates or relegates peace to the background, has never had or experienced the opposite of peace. Because when there is war, trouble, tension, and hopelessness, the things that we think matter most become useless. Therefore I prophesy to you, receive peace in every troubled area of your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Receive peace in your marriage, health, academics and careers. In the name of Jesus Christ. Faith, joy and calmness are all outward expressions of inward peace. And all the pursuit of man for self-fulfillment is to have all-round peace. When this peace is established, then joy becomes inevitable, which is the ultimate goal and desire of all. Therefore again, in the name of Jesus Christ, receive the grace to have and enjoy peace. Peace is superior to material acquisition. That's why you could see people committing suicide despite their material acquisition. This is due to the hollowness they perceive of life, due to the absence of peace and nothing else matters or is worth anything to them. Jeremiah 29 verse 11 says, For I know the thoughts that I think toward you, set the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you an expected end. God's thought and plan for us is ideally for peace and not evil. To give us our expected ends, hence why it is not good to expect evil or things you do not wish for. Things like tensions, worries or fears, restiveness, restlessness, pains, and suffering are not the will, thoughts or expectations of God for us. Therefore as I pray with you, whatever is not God's plan for you falters and fizzles out, in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ, I see a new and better you emerging. I see every cause of restlessness in your life disappearing. I see a new you in the perfect order of things as God has planned it. Receive grace in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare, in the name of Jesus Christ, whatever that has been hampering your peace or denying you of peace as conceptualized and ordained for you by God, be cursed. In the name of Jesus Christ. I command to crumble and be scattered, anything hindering and blocking your access to peace as the Lord has thought us. In the name of Jesus Christ. For he says in John 14 verse 27. Peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you, not as the world gives do I give to you. 
Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. Therefore anything bringing you troubling of the heart, I command it by the power of the infallible word of God to fall in place for you. In accordance with Romans chapter 8, verse 28, which says, And we know that all things work together for good to those who love God, to those who are the called according to His purpose. Therefore, I command that every reason and cause of fear, worry, and tension in your life, turn around for your good now. In the name of Jesus Christ, I curse every cause of fears, tensions, worries and anxiety in your life. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command the imperfection and abnormality that has been a cause of worry and anxiety in your life, to get normalized and perfect now. For it is written in Psalms 138 verse 8, That the Lord will perfect that which concerns me, your mercy, O Lord, endures forever, do not forsake the works of your hands. Therefore in the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and demand that everything concerning you be made perfect in accordance with the will of God for you. In the name of Jesus the Christ. Therefore, in the name of Jesus Christ, anything that has been provoking restiveness and restlessness in your life now comes under God's judgment. I decree the return of peace in any area of your life that peace has fled, or that is troubled. In the name of Jesus Christ. I command the return of peace in your heart, home, marriage, relationships, finances, health, and every other area of your life, that needs peace. In the name of Jesus Christ. O Lord God of peace, who desires and gives peace to his people, according to 2 Thessalonians, chapter 3, verse 16. Now may the Lord of peace himself give you peace always in every way. The Lord be with you all. Therefore, by all means, by the power of God and the name of Jesus Christ. I enforce peace in your life, home, marriage, relationship, finances, health, and business. In the mighty and working name of Jesus Christ. Dear Lord, let your peace that passeth all understanding. According to Philippians 4 verse 7, which says, And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Therefore, in the name of Jesus Christ, let divine peace be permanently enthroned and institutionalized in the lives of every listener here and now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Peace in your career, peace in your academics, and peace in your vocation and avocation. In the name of Jesus the Christ. Father, by the blood of Jesus Christ, I come against whatever is depriving your people, of the peace that you have ordained for them. For your word O Lord says in Ezekiel 34 verse 25, I will make a covenant of peace with them, and cause wild beasts to cease from the land, and they will dwell safely in the wilderness and sleep in the woods. Father, let this be the lot and the reality of every listener under my voice. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let their continued peace and rest be sanctioned and institutionalized in the name of Jesus Christ. Let every devil or demon working against their peace and rest be defeated, routed, and put to flight. In the name of Jesus Christ. And for whatever damages that you have sustained as a result of worries, anxiety, and a lack of peace. I decree and declare healing now, in the name of Jesus Christ. I declare healing to every wounded soul and spirit in the name of Jesus Christ. I decree and declare that affliction shall not come a second time, in the name of Jesus Christ. Everlasting Father. King of glory, thank the dearest Lord for loving us and giving us the gift of peace. Therefore their Lord, 
judge with destruction everything that is tempering our peace or that says that we shall not have peace. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, being that your word says in 2 Thessalonians chapter 3, verse 16. Now may the Lord of peace himself give you peace always in every way. The Lord be with you all. Lord, send your angel to enforce peace in the life, home, marriage, business, career and relationships of every listener. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, dearest Heavenly Father for answering, for in Jesus Christ's wonder-working name we prayed. Amen.